Y'all give it up for Trinidad James. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Now, who, who do you want to be today? Who you want me to be? Hmm. This should be interesting. What happened to your, your, your shoestrings? I gave them to you. When? In a sacrifice. Break it down to me. I thought about what can I take from my body that could I burn and mean a lot for you as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I say my shoelace. So what's your story? What part of it? Mm, the beginning. I think it just started off grown. Mm -hmm. It started off. Do you mind if we look at each other or you want me to just look at you today like that? I could take both. I'm looking at you. But you gotta look at my good eye. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at my good eye? Not what yet. are you looking at? Let me see. Who are you? What's your story? Just a kid from the South. And I stayed in the room all day and then I got out and I interviewed you. You from the South? Mm hmm. What part? Mm, Dayton County. Nice. I want to see how your hair is today. Why are you in tie your tie? <laughs> I'm trying. I want to see your hair first. You want me to tie your tie for you? I want to see, no, I want to see your hair. You got to tie your tie first. You got to have a collar shirt to wear a tie. You got a collar jacket? Well, I got a collar tank top. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> he really liked this in real life, y'all. Don't get disturbed. That's the only reason you brought me here. Why? To exploit me for my hair. That's ugly. No, I feel like you got different styles of hairstyles. Right. Which is your favorite? To be honest, I don't have a favorite. Oh. Yeah. And it's a mask. Is this your mask too, so they can buy it? Mm, I wish. You know, you don't have one of these when you was growing up. Mm. -mm. I raised myself. Now nah, that's some street shit. Mm. Mm. You from the streets? No, I was in the house. Remember? Oh yeah. Damn, you really do keep up your um, appearances. So. We won't ever start the interview until you remove the hat. Oh, I thought you started already. Mm. -mm. Cause they don't know who I'm talking to. They do know. Who got this? Kanye West, college dropout. You don't have this. Yes, Kanye do. don't have this. Yes, he do. Kanye don't have this. Yes, he do. You know Kanye don't have this. Yes, he do. No, he don't. I know Kanye. I'm not going to doubt that. You know a lot of people. I seen Steve Harvey call you, and you ignored him. I was busy. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Marco did. <laughs> <laughs> Something like God did. Something like it. Mm -hmm. You win in the troll right now, cause until you take out the mask. How? So you wanna make this even and remove the mask, or you wanna win this show? Mm -mm, it's your show. I mean, right now you winning. Am I? Mm hmm You tie your tie, and I take this mask off. I can't tie it. You gotta start talking to me. I got you. Let me tie it. Let me tie it for you. See, it's done. It's tied. Be a man of your word. Well, let me wear it then. Mm hmm I can't. Matter of fact, you can. Yeah. So now I gave you two things. Now I'm just. What was the first you. thing you gave me? I gave you the tie. What was the second thing? I tied it up. How you been though, bro? It's been a minute. I'm trying to get my request. Oh, that's a really good way to say that. Trying to get my request. Do you say that to women? I, mean, I don't request things from women. You demand? Mm-mm. What do you do? Uh, I just stay in my room, play the game. <laughs> that room must be very special. Yeah, you wouldn't find out. True. What else been going on with you, though? Mm, just waiting on my request. Who was your last guest that rounds your request? Quest. Quest Love? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How bad is it? No, it looked good. You gotta take it off and see. Price tag? Hmm? What was that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's price tag. You gotta stop stealing these, these <laughs> ties and suits, bro. I go to Goodwill. <laughs> oh, because you don't like to shop at Black Home Spot? Who said that? <laughs> Actually, a black person owns this Goodwill. His name is Mark Williams. You ready to start? Yep. All right, let's get it. Give it up for James, y'all. <laughs> How you been? Fine. How fun? Nice artwork. You like it? A black mm -hmm. girl did it. <laughs> Her name's Ronika. I'm not even lying. Hmm? I support black um, businesses. Mm -hmm. But we ain't gonna go into that. How you feeling? Fine. You're very like art. Art? Mm hmm. That's cute. Like how do you? Oh, those shoes are crazy. Thank you. Damn. You can see them with one eye or two. Three. Mm hmm So, where do we start? Where do we want to start? Or where do you want to start? I can start with you. How do you feel about wondering? Um, I like Wonder Woman. Mm hmm Well, how do you feel when it comes to wondering about shit? Like well, the I, word wonder. Hmm. It's okay. It's not my favorite of that um, same vernacular. I like other words to mean wonder instead of wonder. So is that why you're one hit wonder? Mm -mm. I don't think so. What do you call it? My life. I mean, you just stopped making music. 
I so, did it. Yeah. So it's you not so? like you was bad at it. So you tend to give up on things? Mm -mm, I never gave up on you. Mm -hmm. This is our second time meeting. That means I didn't give up on you, mm -hmm. right? What about music? Because you are talented. I ain't give up on music. You I'm did. doing my new album. I mean, but then, I mean, we was waiting on you. We got all gold, and then it went platinum. I didn't think about it. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's amazing. You want some more? You just needed a quick check? Hmm, I got more than a quick check, but I don't know, what did I need though? I think I needed to see what entertainment was about. Mm -hmm. You know, I think understanding the entertainment business is more important than getting plaques so that you could call them out. I think so, but you know. I, I get it, I. <laughs> so do you feel like when it comes to it, like who was you before I, I'll go, what was you doing? Ooh. Well, I was an immigrant, I ran, I was a, I was a stylist. Mm -hmm. I was a stylist. I did clothes. So can you explain the Argo situation, the story, what came about it in the studio that night? It was a couple people, and over in the bathroom to the left, there was like a fire happening, but not a real fire. Like they were like, you know, smoking meth or something. And um, in the room next to him, like right close to the studio, because it was inside of like a closet, um, it was like a casket on the wall. And every time I looked at it, I was like, dang. That's a gold casket. And then when they opened it, I was like, damn, I gotta make this song. Mm -hmm. And that's how it happened. So when did you know that it was a hit? Like, what was the call? Um, I think when everybody started hitting me. Pause. Oh, you said that? You do that? What? Pause. What happened? That's kind of sassy. Did you get signed? Did you sign a deal after that? Mm -hmm. um, so shout out to TIG, my first label. Mm -hmm. um, then we did business with Def Jam Records. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. And then I started doing my own thing, but doing partnerships. Mm -hmm. And that's been like the best lesson, I think. Mm -hmm. What about signing to a major record label? What is your advice to people that want to do that? Hmm. I think understanding the people that you have around you are there for the right and the wrong reasons, but the wrong reasons you won't actually really be able to realize until you get into the certain situations or situations that they can't do right by you at. Example. So things change as you go level by level. And when certain situations happen in life, things might affect you a certain way because you have to deal with it if you're the artist. Like Funny Marco is an artist. Mm -hmm. Funny Marco's team might get put into a situation where Funny Marco's team don't know what to do for Funny Marco, but Funny Marco knows what to do. Or Funny mm -hmm. Marco has to figure out what to do, even if he doesn't know what to do, how uh, whatever. So sometimes you rise past um, certain situations or certain situations separate you from people that mean a lot for you. Mm -hmm. Good information. Is it? Mm -hmm. It is. So do you feel like at your point of life? These shoes is crazy. Thank you. I was talking about mine. Oh. The phone positive comment like I saw. Yeah, the phone pilots with the Nike sign on them. So what about, I see you got a lot of brands coming out with hoodies, you got shoes, you got socks, tank tops. Explain. Homework and dad socks. Those are my two brands. Mm -hmm. um, Homework is a curriculum-based brand. And when I say curriculum-based brand, we pick a muse. And that muse is somebody you should do your homework on. Hence the name, Homework, H-O-M-M-E-W-R-K. Our first muse, is a lady by the name of Janelle Penny Commission. And uh, Funny Marco might say, who's that turn that? Um, and what I would say to you, Funny Marco, if, uh, if Funny Marco was to do his own work or homework, um, you'll find out that Miss Janelle is the first black Miss Universe in 1973 from Trinidad and Tobago, where I was born. Dad Socks is an acronym. Dad is destroying all doubters. Dadsocks.shop. Um, socks is not about it being a male sock because it's called Dad Socks. It's more, we're selling confidence. Destroying all doubters, that's been something that's stuck with me for a long time because, well, people call you one day one that they doubt you. Not necessarily, I don't mean they doubt you. I mean you made a hit and you just wandered off. 
But sometimes they doubt you. Mm. Why should we talk about them? Why not about the people that just wondering where you at? I think I love the people that's wondering where I'm at. Right, but you talking about the people that doubt you. Well, you know, it's a part of life. It's a mindset thing. Self-sabotage versus self-mastery. You're yeah. right. I wonder where you went. And then we saw each other. Not How me. was your first impression of me when you first met me? Because you've been hearing about me, but now you met me. How was mm. that for you? Mm. I feel like you are who you are. Okay. You actually are who you claim to be from the internet. Who do I claim to be from the internet's perspective? Mm, art. Okay. You do what you want to do. Okay. You kind of, you're good at zoning out people. Mm. What and do you mean by that? Mm. Oh, like hearing the white noise, but not actually paying attention to it? Why do you got to be white? I think that's what they call it in the terminology book. Are you racist? Good time to flip it. But back to what we were saying. What you thinking? I feel like you actually do what you want to do. You're a creator, not a recreator. <sighs> Thank you. That's big words. Now, do I actually care? No. Right. You're a doubter. I don't doubt you. Yes, you do. Say who? Your eyes. Let's not talk about eyes. Why not? Why this not? is an issue? No. If I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Why are you down yourself? If I'm ugly, I'm ugly. I don't use that word. You don't say ugly. Mm-mm. You don't say ugly. I say different. You don't say ugly. I don't. Have you heard me say it? You say ugly. I never said that. No. You don't say ugly? Mm-mm. So you don't say ugly. All right. You say ugly. So do you have any kids? Are they ugly? I mean, if my kids are ugly, would you tell me? We use the word different. But different and ugly is different. It's not the mm -hmm. same. Okay. Are you sleepy? Hmm? You, you do this thing where you like nod off with your neck, mm -hmm. but your head is still wobbling, and then your eyes get real low. Are you sleepy or is that part of like your... Act? I don't know, I don't think. Are you acting? Are you <laughs> acting? <laughs> are you looking at me right now? No. Hmm. You want me to? We talking. I'm listening. I just want to know if you have recreators. What do you think? Yeah. I do? I believe you do. How many? Mm -hmm. Get In reality, like don't, don't be Marco. Be funny. No, you got a nappy beard. Usually people with nappy beards got like six or seven. Be real. No, that's Honestly. not real. Honestly. Name one person with a nappy beard that got six kids. Nappy boy. Entertainment? <laughs> yeah. Don't laugh, nigga. You supposed to hold it. No, nah, that was funny. Oh, damn. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I've been working on that all day. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but nappy boy got it. T-Pain got six kids, too. No, he don't. You don't know T-Pain like I know him. You do be knowing people, so I ain't going to take that from you. You, know you literally didn't answer the phone for Steve Harvey. Yeah. Do you like child support? Poof. I don't know if I want baby mamas to hear this. <laughs> no, I'm saying, how do you feel about child support? Is it real? So Were you on child support when you were growing up? I'm asking you a question. No, 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 no. I just said, how do you feel about it? We I'm happy I'm not on it. But how do you feel about it? Do you feel like it's bad or good? Are you against it or are you for it? I'm not on it. So you're not on supporting your kids? Mm, I mean, what you call it, I support. But if you, you got to think about it from the standpoint of this. What if your kids are ugly? I thought you said put your phone on silent. It's not my phone. You, you got six phones. Like, if I got six kids, you got a real six phone. That's not my phone. Who could be calling you right? Is that Steve Harvey? That's not my That's phone. That's Steve Harvey. On God, it's not my phone. On a whole God? Yeah. Whew. How do you, boy, how do you sleep? My fingers is crossed. Mm. That's ugly. But continue though, go ahead. Matt, is Matt right here? Where he go, he left? Uh, Matt, he called me. I don't know what that means. He basically is saying that he just wants you to spice it up. What you What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You about to What do you, what do you want to do? Pinch yourself? No, nah, you he do? wants you to spice it up. What do you want me to do? Pinch myself? Like when he leave out the room and he called me, that means like spice it up. All right. So, action. Say something wild. Ugly. So you do got Tourette's. Yeah. Did he come back in to let you know that it's spiced up now? Matt. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I know you said you want him to spice it up. Yeah, uh, I did. What, what happened? I know. Now I'm saying the call. When you say you walk out, you call me, means that it's boring and you wanted to wrap it up or you want him to spice yeah, it well, up. Yeah, it need to be spiced up a little. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's giving anything. Right. It took like 15 minutes for him to take off the damn mask. Mm-hmm. What do you want him to do? Like, 
I want to know what's going. Is that really his eye? What's going on with his eye? Mm-hmm. Like so that you addressed it. You like man, punned it, but we really need to know what's going on. Andy, you want me to ask you about the story he said when Usher turned down your track, where he said that y'all was supposed to do a song, and he said he didn't want to do a song with you. That was on Google, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. What you call it? Um, <laughs> who is he to you? That's the producer. Okay, Matt, you got an interesting attitude. Why? It's interesting. Why is that? Because it uh. It could be triggering if you don't know what you're about. And since I don't know what you're about, it's very interesting. I don't mean, I'm, I'm a cut, I'm a teddy bear just like you ever had. I don't need no beef. But you got a triggering energy. Really? What is that? I don't know why, I don't know why is that so. The triggering? It's, it's interesting. Is that good or bad or different? Mm, I don't know. It's y'all show, but at the same time, it's, it's like. It's not my show, it's Marco's show. I can't tell. I, I you call a lot of shots. I just work for him. I just do what he tells me to do. I can't I tell. Oh, so you told him to tell me to spice it up. <laughs> well, I just try to help him spice it up. You know, we, we try to go viral. So about yeah, the Usher situation, it. how did that go about? What about Usher? No, I just want to know why didn't y'all do the song? I'm not sure. What song? Yeah, so the song. Google said that I, Usher, I asked Usher to do a song. He turned it down. Was yeah. it all for everything? I wanted another hit. Like, what, what, what was it? He mm-hmm. did a reference track and you did what happened. Mm. He could have turned it down, but I don't think that that happened. I mean, that's what it says. But no, nah, I mean, no. Nah. I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't put spices on lies. Mm-hmm. You said your net worth about twenty five million. Nah, I didn't say that. Where's that? Pull up. Yeah, Matt is like the producer of the show, so he just wants stuff to spice up, and then he'd be like, "Why didn't you ask this?" And I'm just like, "I'm cool as fuck. I just chill." Oh, for real? Mm. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Yeah. Twenty five million right there. Hey man, believe it. Mm-hmm. 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 Can you give me something? What you want me to give you, man? Do you believe in aliens? No, I don't believe in aliens. Can you say I believe in aliens on that video right there? I'll eat a fucking alien's head off. I believe it. That that might wrap it. Mark we continue, I'm sorry. How much have you spent in a strip club before? I don't think anything crazy. Twenty five million. Hmm, this is a new face from you. I'm thinking. Oh, that's your thinking face. Is mm-hmm. it your wondering face? One hit wondering face? Mm-mm. I'm thinking. What you thinking about? What is this, Magic City? Mm-mm. Tattletale. Mm-hmm. You ever been Tattletale? Mm-hmm. I can't tell. So hairstyle, before we go, can you break it down? Um, black on brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, my girl Deidre does my hair. Um, I'm gonna post it on. Please go to my page and follow. Her and her daughter, they just started this brand. What's her Instagram? Uh, DC the Hair Artist. How are you going to promote her and don't know her business page? DC the Hair Artist. You sure? If I'm not, you're going to correct it right here. Now, if you cut this section out of the show, that means that you're cutting our people out. <laughs> so are you going to cut our people out? <laughs> are you going to keep doing that? Do you see or do that? Wait, hold on, hold on. Now, now you're getting into the creative space and we don't want you to get into this creative space. That's why I add all the line. Do not get into his creative space. Thank you. But you, you you're gonna, continue. You gonna let him talk to you like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like this side of my face. This side of my face is different emotion. So I don't know. Mm. So, what's the trend like with the uh, when you do do your nails? I know rock stars used to do it, and they did it for like art and music. Mm-hmm. Do you, what's your story then, Lil Yachty? I know he started doing it for like TikTok. He started doing his nails for TikTok? He started doing it. What yeah. does that mean? He said he started doing it because he what wanted to. What does that mean, bro? I'm trying to tell you. Oh, okay, go ahead. He said he started doing it to like express like art and his feelings to actually do something new and just been, instead of being known for just music. Oh, that's cute. So I was saying like, what's the story with yours? Is it like art? Everything is mm-hmm. art, isn't it? But I'm saying what's your meaning of doing it? Like, um, I think it pays homage to my OG, Bishop Don Juan. Um, the first person that I ever really like paid attention to uh, with a painted nail Mm -hmm. um, was Bishop Don Juan. He had a gold pinky. And so um, when I saw the gold pinky, um, I just always loved uh, 70s pimp culture. I'm on the door, it's okay. What are you doing? Oh. No, come in. Come on. You come in this way. What are you doing? I'm going the wrong way. No, you're going the right way. You're going the right way. What are you doing? She's doing the right way. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. 
Oh, hey, come on. What are you doing? Come on. No. We got one show. Close the door. We got one show. We got one show. He got Tourette's. It's okay. Close the door. Come we on. We got one show. Okay, okay, okay. We got one show. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. What are you, you doing? Can you come, come over here? This white PR can here. you come here? Get out. Can you come over? What? How your day going? Pretty good. I'm so sorry. Can you say hi to the what? camera? What? The camera right there. Hi, camera. Uh, can you shout out yourself so they can follow you? I'm Portia Madrid. Back at it again. PM, media and marketing. Media extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> what's your Instagram? Portia Madrid. P-O-R-C-H-E-M-A-D-R-E. And what you do for a living? Uh, PR. Mm -hmm. I do interviews just like you. Mm -hmm. But of course different, but yeah. No, I'm not really interviewing nobody right now. You. I'm talking to you. Ma'am, come this way. Please. Okay. This Thank way. you. I'm so sorry. Thank nice you. to see you. Right, what about me? Nice to see you too. Nice to see you. I'm so sorry, y'all. No, you're fine. Yeah. I don't know what that was. On that note, y'all. <clears throat> sorry about that. Give it up for Trinidad James. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're gonna get like uh, B roll. You can just sit right there and the camera gonna zoom into you. I'll be right back. Yeah, that was crazy. How you feel? How do you feel about the interview? That was crazy. That huh? was good. How do you feel about what was the interview? Mm. We got better. Huh? Okay. <laughs> what you say? We got better. That's good. Like who? Uh, my, my, my favorite is Boosie. Boosie. Mm -hmm. We'll see you all the time. So if you was to write the interview we just did, one through 10, what'd you give him? About four or five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. I think we should tell him? Mm, no, I think he knows. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right, somebody gonna tell him that we, uh, the time here? Yeah, I got it. Y'all yeah, gonna get up and tell him that it's over? Yeah. Somebody? Yeah, go you should go tell him, because he look more dangerous with tattoos. You tell him? Yeah. Right. All right. No, I ain't going oh, nowhere. Shit. It's time no, to go. Hell, I ain't going nowhere. It's time to go. No, I ain't going nowhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Nah. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Back nah. up, back up, back up. Back. Nah. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go. Let, let him, him stay go. right there. Let him go. Let him well, maybe go. you're not intimidating. Nah. Nah. So you're not a... You want me to get it? Nah. No, you're not a thug. Nah. No, back up, back up. Turn like Nah. You want me to get it? Turn the light on. Turn the Come on, gotta go. Can't do that. I mean, no, I feel like it's art. No, nah. no, 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 This is part of his new music video. Nah, that's good. It's called Nah, his new song. I'm not a part of that. <laughs> his new song nah. is Nah. I'm not a part of that. One, two, three. Nah. One, two, three. Nah. Oh, <laughs> I do not want to go. I'm good. Is he gonna Get it one more time. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't fuck with niggas. Donald. <laughs> yeah, he on his feet. Now, that's actually hard. They should get a picture of him right now. Yeah. That's like, and put this on his Instagram. I never had. New uh, album cover. I never had anyone react like that. Never had anybody come with a face mask, hmm? things on their face. You know, ain't paying me enough for this. <laughs> oh, that was hard. That's definitely an album cover. Set. And call this single Naw. <laughs> so is your daddy around? Nah, nah. You fuck with him? Yeah, he's, he's all right. He just was never there. So is he coming around now? Yeah. Is oh, he yeah. dancing around or what? Nah, nah, he doesn't dance. I got that from my mom. Oh, so you twerk too? You want? Do you ever see yourself being a bodyguard? Yeah, I could be a bodyguard. Well, like not with like with dancing and shit. Yeah, I could dance and be a bodyguard. I could do it all. It's lit. Oh, it's lit. All the talents that I have. <laughs>